This is uh, my horse, Julio. Uh, his registered name is uh, Ed's Holder One. And uh, I'm getting ready to work with him some more. Uh, we're gonna be doing, um, I'm just getting him used to the, uh, the saddle and the saddle blanket and stuff like that. Uh, he's pretty good, but I just keep working with him. It's gonna watch his, gonna be watching his head to see if his head raises and stuff. Um, and I'll just address it accordingly. Just the whole point is to get him to be calm and relaxed about it, um, and uh, to accept it and and not get worried, you know. And uh, he's about. Oh, I think he's about two and a half, something like that. So he's a really good horse. And yeah, I'll put, put, put the GoPro on and get working with him here. Here's the, here's the saddle pad, let him sniff it. I like to let him do that, let him sniff it and uh, investigate it. I like to work with their curiosity. I think it's important. And uh, you see here, I trimmed his mane up on his withers here so I can set this thing and it won't <coughs> won't bind up some of that his mane or eat there give him a sore spot but he seems to take that really nice i'll flip it up there like that see how he does with that doesn't seem to bother him do that again i like to smack it on there a little bit just see how he's doing. I'm gonna to go to the other side. I put my hands on my horse's rumps like that when I pass by. So they always know, have a tactile thing and know I'm there. I don't want them to get kinda of like daydreaming, seeing something out there and all of a sudden they catch something out of the back of their, the corner of their eye and, it's, and they kick at it, you know. So then I'm gonna get on this side here, let them sniff it, same thing. Just let them, see, investigate. You always want to do it both sides with your horse. Swing it up there. I looked at his head. He didn't raise his head or anything, so that's a really good indicator that he's pretty cool with it. You're a good boy, yeah. So and I'll just touch him. I'd like to touch him under the belly and stuff and see. I'm watching his response. See, he's not having any, any response at all, if you look at him. He's not... You know, he's like kind of ready to take a nap almost. So flip it up there like that. You're a good boy, yeah. Go around the other side, see, put my hand on his rump like that. Here we go. Good boy. Good boy. Let's see, I just get that out from underneath there. Yeah, you're a good boy, yeah. See, he's just investigating. So I get the saddle. <clears throat> Do the same thing. Let him sniff it. See? Good boy. Yeah. Now he's been saddled a few times already. Let him investigate. He's fine. Bring it up there. There, and I bring this up into the gullet here. And, uh, Pull that out. Make sure the strings, the strings here, these are, look like they're on the other side. Gotta go to the other side, get them. Okay, I don't know where those are from. Hold on a second. Oh, this is not, this is up. This is the, uh, Court. There we go. Get that fixed now. See, he's kind of kind of leaning to one side there, and so the saddle's gone over. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Now, see, this is important to watch this kind of stuff. See, see, how he's looking. You want to just be conscious of what your horse is doing. Now, you don't want to, you know, pussyfoot around him and and act kind of sneaky or anything. I'm not saying that. Don't do that. But you wanna, you wanna watch their reaction here. Okay, so he's looking. So like this is, I'll show you. This is an area that we 
we watch and see. You want to let them know that you're paying attention to them and um, that you get them, that you're, that you're not oblivious to how they're feeling about it, you know. And that'll help your horse realize that you got his back or her back, you know. So what I mean by that is like right now, like when I start to take this stuff down here, you know, he's looking at it, he's curious, you know. Now he's had this on him already, but this is the thing. So reach under here, get a, get a hold of this. Now this is where I'm not going to snug him up real tight or anything. I'm going to watch. All right, now see his paw in here. He's telling me he's probably a little bit bored or anxious about what's going on. So then I'll see if you watch this. See, I pull like this. And I do this a lot when I'm first doing them. See, I just pull, release, pull, release, pull, release. And if you were to do that with like reins or something like that or, or your legs or you know, and, and you do it without any sort of purpose, they kind of learn to ignore it, okay? So that's the point here is to do it a bunch of times to where he realizes, like, each time I release, he goes, oh, the pressure went away. Oh, there it is again. Oh, it went away. Oh, there it is again. Oh, it went away. And he's going to realize, like, that it's not permanent and he's not trapped. So come to the other side here check things I'm looking underneath here there looks pretty good come back around I just take my time with it the whole point is to get him used to it now this is another thing right here see so pick up see I'm picking up really pick up release pick up release see now he's moved off okay so he's telling me this maybe bothers him a little bit. So I'm just gonna keep keep picking up, releasing, picking up, releasing, picking up, releasing, picking up, releasing, picking up, releasing. Now see he's looking at it from the other side. Pick up, release, pick up, release, pick up, release, pick up, release, pick up, release. All right, all right, I gotcha. So then I'll put this on him here. There we go. How you doing, Huli? So then we come back over here, check it again. See, it's pretty. See how loose this is. Look. Can you see that? And that's pretty loose. And like I say, I try to do. I try to take four. Four, um, four turns uh, with uh, tightening it. So again, have my hand on his rump like that. Yeah, when I took it off the other day, I took off the wrong side. I usually take off the other side. So it's coming over here. See, he's sniffing it. There we go. Yeah, such a good boy. There you go. You sniffing me. Tighten this up here. And I'm just trying to get him to not have any anxiety about any of this because you know, in his career, you know, or future career as a riding horse, you know, you don't want him to have any bad experience with something as basic as saddling. You want it to be a no, a no, non-issue. And sometimes people, they get just so focused on their end goal, which might be riding or whatever they're gonna work on that day, and, and they ignore a bunch of stuff like this, and then it, it ends up creeping up on them. So now I'm gonna tighten a little bit more. Okay, two holes here. And then I'm gonna let it go. All right, Hulu, 
All right, buddy. So, yeah, this, I might have to punch some more holes in this. Like I said, he's a young horse. None of the tack fits really, really well on young horses and they're all different. And so we do it with pads and, and uh, you know, we just make sure you're, I don't leave a horse unattended with a saddle on anyway. I mean, I hang them like this, but I don't, I would never turn them loose or anything. Uh, so he, he's, he's, he's getting used to that. That's pretty good. Keep messing with it. Now go to this side again. See, I'm jiggling it. See, I sniffing me, checking me out. He's doing, this is all pretty good. Oh, nope. Step over. Now, when they step on, step towards you like that, they would not do that to a, uh, a lead horse out there in the field. That's the last, the last thing they would, that's the last thing they would do. So right there, I got to, tells me I got to work on him staying out of my personal space. You don't want him to get, I mean, it's, don't misunderstand. It's, I mean, like them being familiar with you. Come on. Move over. Move over. There. It's good to him to step away. So, there he is. In all his glory. <laughs> He's going to be a real nice horse as he gets bigger. As he gets older. So I'm just going to let him hang here for a little while and get used to it. Then I'll do some groundwork with him. People subscribe? They should? <laughs> hey, smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.